I started dancing when I was around three. My mum is a ballet teacher, so she kind of popped me into class when I was really young. My name is Isabel Vandenberg Cook, and I'm a dancer here at the Moulin Rouge. Here we are outside the Moulin Rouge, um, where I work every night. You can see it's trademarked, the red colours, the windmill. When you first move to Paris for, with Moulin, they put you up just because it's difficult to find accommodation here. So I lived in Montmartre. I remember being overwhelmed by the beauty of the streets, like all the little cafes. So there's an amazing chocolate shop. It's just up here, I'm going to bring you into it. My French isn't perfect at all. I try really hard to speak with everyone. Bonjour, madame. Bonjour. Ça va? Ça va bien, merci. At the start, I was really like amazed by all of this French culture. It was really something I loved. I'm starting to get a little bit hungry, so I think I'm going to take you to one of my favorite places. A lot of the Moulin girls and I, we all go there for food often, so it's really nice and yummy. Hello. Hi. How are you? My guilty pleasure that I'm absolutely obsessed with is called the brioche perdue, and they put caramel slash toffee sauce on it. Really, you can kind of eat whatever you want in this job because they like you to have a womanly figure. This is what I've been waiting for all day. <laughs> perfection. It's perfection. <laughs> now it's time to go to work and get warmed up and do my makeup so come on over to the Moulin Rouge. First show starts at 9 and the second show starts at 11. So this is the stage door. We kind of want an hour and a half to do our makeup and to warm up. Well, here we are in the dressing rooms of the Moulin Rouge and I have a little surprise for you. This is my sister Claudine. Hello. Yeah, my sister is also a dancer here. She's been dancing here for three and a half, nearly four years. She knows the ropes. When I came here, it was really handy. Even actually when I auditioned, she was like, Izzy, you need to work on your cartwheels before you come. You know, in the audition, they do cartwheels for Can Can, both left and right. I think the fact that I have my sister here helps me because a lot of people struggle. I actually am settled here really well. Now, after the makeup's done, I do a warm up you must warm up your hamstrings really, really well. Right now we're backstage, we're just in the wings beside the stage. We've just had a 15 minute call for the show. The show starts with parry dance. That's kind of a little bit funky, hip hoppy. And now we're gonna go and take our places on stage and start the show. So now we're going to do Pirates 1 and we'll both be dancing together. <laughs> then we have the Can Can. Um, the Can Can comes from the 1840s. Um, it's kind of the history of the Moulin Rouge. It's a very quick dance. You have a lot of kicks, jump splits. You get the feeling of the olden days and what the Moulin used to be. We are all in here every night working together. I was surprised to find out that it was actually a lovely atmosphere backstage. My advice to anyone who wants to become a Moulin Rouge dancer is practice your cartwheels, practice your splits, have really good kicks. When you do the audition, be very confident, be unique, be your own person and have your own style. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this glimpse into our lives here at the Moulin Rouge and um, we hope that we see you coming to see the show.